and I didn't set the intention at the beginning. I didn't set my boundary. And I think we can, we can ad address like intentions and boundaries as the same thing. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to your very favorite podcast, I'm sure, right? It Takes Grit with me, your host, Rebecca Louise. You have got me all to yourself today, as long as well as with my two trusted sidekicks, Alfie and Penny. If you're watching on YouTube, they literally left a little space on the sofa for me because I knew I was going to come down and sit. It was, it's so cute. It's the cutest thing. I'm going to be doing a little update video um, on Alfie as well because we have been going through some more and more treatments. And every time that I try to pet Alfie, Penny, you headbutt me to come in and you want attention. I always, I feel right now a bit bad for Penny because... You know what it's like, like when you've got a friend or a family member, when maybe one of your children, maybe one of your pets is ill or sick, the other one um, kind of gets a little bit left behind. So we are working a little bit more and making Penny feel extra special today. Okay, so our podcast today is about how to set healthy boundaries in relationships. And I really went to town on this one and wrote down you know, so many notes that I want to share with you and I've written them down here. And uh, if you see me kind of looking at my phone, it's because I just want to make sure that we are really covering everything because I think that this is the one of the biggest areas that a lot of people struggle with like me included and I'll share with you my own personal experience um, about having those boundaries and then how do you know like hey I'm helping somebody but now I feel like I'm helping them like too much and now it's expected of me um, and, and, and just understanding like what is a boundary am I overstepping my own boundaries are other people stepping boundaries of me because I think sometimes we get a little bit lost in our head about what that looks like so really excited to dive deep into everything about relationships and boundaries, you know, what to look for and how that you can set and maintain healthy boundaries as well. First of all, I wanted to share some really fun news. Uh, loads of you have been doing the Inner Transformation program with me uh, since, uh, what was it, 2020? I believe that we launched it in October. Um, and we did, you know, four, uh, four week programs together. And what I found is that so many people go through seasons at different times of their lives. Like some people might need it in the January month. Some people might need it in March. Like some people might need it in different times. So what we've done is we have just given lifetime access to the Inner Transformation Program so that you can come back to it, do it again, however many times that you want to. So go to RebeccaLouiseCoaching.com um, and you can check out everything that the Inner Transformation Program has. It's a one-time fee. You get access forever. You can start it whenever you like. Um, and we actually had people do that program four times, like four times in a year. So it really does make a difference. It really does break down those barriers, create the confidence and get you aware of where you are in life. And what I love most is that you know, especially go do, you go do multiple different programs, but when you come back to doing the same program, you realize how much you've grown, you realize how much you've changed, you realize like the things that you did before, maybe you don't do. So that's why I'm a massive advocate of like picking one program and at least doing that one program every single year because you've got, otherwise you've got nothing to compare it to. If you keep doing different programs, like, you know, you're on different like streams, you're on different you know, pass, you're, you're learning different things, but coming back to that same program and seeing where you were at that time last year, that time last six months, right? You'll be able to actually see that change and those shifts that you've made. So go check it out. I wanted to make it lifetime access so that you guys have, you know, access to it whenever you want, because I know that it makes such a difference and change in people's lives. All right. So RebeccaLouiseCoaching.com. I put all the links in the description below. All right. So how to set these healthy boundaries. Now, I think that if I look back in the past, you know, different relationships that I've been in, um, and even like when I'm helping my team, you know, I've created incredible retreats over the last year because due to COVID, and I allow people that to come into my home, and I went overboard, and I spend way too much, way more money than actually the event even costs. You know, we, we charge, you know, like a hundred bucks or so for, for people that come to the events, and it pays for a t-shirt, and and it pays for food and all of that stuff. And I pay thousands and thousands of dollars out of my own pocket for all of the extras, you know, like you have to pay for flowers, you have to pay for the decorations, you have to pay for the music stuff. Like you have to pay for, you have to pay for everything, right? And so sometimes like I've let my boundaries go and then I've had people come back and not be appreciative of that. And so, you know, it, it, it's areas in that where you're gonna have it in business and then you're gonna have it in areas where it's in your relationship. You know, um, I found that I, I didn't have the boundary up of like what I 
wanted from a relationship you know, many, many years ago. And I didn't set the intention at the beginning. I didn't set my boundary. And I think we can, we can address like intentions and boundaries is the same thing. So when I got into that relationship, you know, you know, five years ago, I didn't set the boundary of what I thought was acceptable and what I didn't. And so that's my fault. Like I take a hundred percent responsibility of that. And so I allowed, you know, a something that I would have never allowed to be in a relationship right now. I, I, I allowed that to be a thing because I didn't set my boundary. I didn't say like, hey, you know what? No, this is not okay. And I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to be part of this relationship. You know, there was a little bit of, you know, a mix up at the beginning with like this other person and who were they? And there was, you know, it was just very strange. And I, I, I look back now and I'm like, that was a major red flag. And I didn't keep my boundary up. I was just like, you know what? you know, making excuses for somebody. It's okay. This is, this is, you know, you can always see two sides of the story. I, I totally get that. But that was just a big learning lesson, you know, and then stepping into other relationships. I'm, I know <laughs> I'm, this is not me being like big headed or like, Ooh, I'm so great. But I have learned everything in my business to like a detail and I'm incredibly detailed oriented. I am very, very organized. And like, I don't forget stuff. Like I just don't miss anything. Like I know everybody's, I, if something happened during the week and like someone missed something in my team, like I'll remember it. Um, and so I've taken on a role of helping other people with their businesses and I love it. Right. But then what happens is that it's just expected and, you know, everything, you're the only person that's remembering it. But, but that's my fault because I took on that role um, and I, you know, I was the one that kept remembering things. I was the one that was like doing all the action. So how would it be fair for somebody else to like remember all of that if they weren't doing it because somebody else is picking up? So I think there's like setting intentions and boundaries can kind of be like interlaced as I'm kind of like talking this through with you. And this is me being like super open, vulnerable, honest, and just like, ah, here you go. Here is Rebecca Louise and what's, you know, what's going on. Um, but a couple of the things to like look out for um, is that you always feel people are taking advantage of you and your emotions for like their own gain. Like, and not necessarily like on purpose, but they just kind of rely on you. They're like, well, I don't need to do this because, you know, Rebecca will pick this up. You know, and it happens sometimes in, in, in my team. It's like, oh, well, like we don't need to worry about like putting that out because like Rebecca didn't do it or whatever it is. Right. So I think that it's not just taking advantage by people doing it on purpose. Um, it's more so people you're just not feeling in a way, like, how do I put this best without <laughs> making it come across right, right? So you don't always feel like people's emotions, that they don't do it on purpose, right? Somebody's not always doing it on purpose. You've got to put yourself into a position where you were just like the one that like made everything happen. You did it, you took the action, and now people expect that of you. But you've got to remember that if you have put yourself into that position, you want to take 100% responsibility with zero excuses. But then you want to be like, okay, I no longer want to be the point of contact for everybody. Like for me, in some of my team, I, I, I try to delegate stuff out and sometimes it's just not to the right person, right? You're going to have trial and error and maybe in your relationship, like you try and say, hey, if you can focus on this, I can do this, but it just might not be that person's strong point. So you want to just want to look out for people taking advantage of you and your emotions for their own gain, but they're not always necessarily doing it on purpose. All right. And all right. Another thing to look out for is that you always feel like you have to save the people close to you and fix their problems all the time. All right, this is literally me because I don't like anyone to like fail or anyone to like mess up in anything. And like, I'm just like, okay, like you, you need to do this or like add in this here or like, hey, we need to like get this sent off or like, have you done this part of your job right here? And you know, sometimes I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm like being such a pussy and just like a pushover because you know, sometimes people don't do what they're supposed to do. And you know, I feel bad for asking or I am, so cool. I feel like I'm nagging somebody because I'm like, hey, you haven't done this. Like, you've got to do this. And they're just expecting you to fix their problems all of the time. Um, and if you don't do it, you know, you feel in a position where you're like, oh my goodness, well, who else is going to do it, right? Sometimes all of that burden like lands on your shoulders. Uh, so I hear you if that's how you feel. Um, and we got we to gotta work on this, right? Because it's not for you to fix other people's problems. You know, if somebody else doesn't want to take responsibility and action for their own um, roles and their own jobs, like, in their own like position with inside of a relationship, that's something that we get to work on as well. And then thirdly, like the other thing to kind of look out for is like you tell people how much you hate drama, but yet you always find yourself stuck in it. Wow, that is really interesting. Um, you know, it's been a crazy last year and there has been so much drama that I've never even like spoken about. And to be honest, 
if I'm going to be super vulnerable and open with you, I, I literally don't know what to say because I'm scared if I say something, it's going to be the wrong thing. It's going to piss people off. So I feel like I've had like this tape over my mouth. Um, and I think the only thing that came out was that, you know, how Luke and I met video. Um, and, and apart from that, uh, I've just felt like, and obviously we took that down, but I felt like I'm losing like my own identity because I'm like being like squished and like said like what I can say, what I can't say, don't want to piss other people off. Um, and, and it's got me like thinking in my head, like, oh my goodness, like th there's, there's, that's also a boundary, right? There's somebody else like creating these boundaries around us of like what we can and what we can't say. Uh, but again, that is our own choice. Like that's my choice, you know, not to go out and say all the drama that's happened. So I, I really don't like drama, but you might find people that love the drama and that fuels them. And being in a place of negativity gives them significance and it gives them likes and it gives them comments and it makes them feel good, right? I mean, I think the first post I even put out, I put a post out, you know, in, in December, early December on my Instagram, just about feeling like I'm a little bit lost and I haven't been feeling very well. You can probably hear by my voice. You're like, Rebecca sounds like a frog. Like seriously, girl, like what is happening? Um, <laughs> and so I've been like rediscovering myself over like the last year with a new identity. So you can tell that some people just love the drama, um, but we get to set that boundary of do we engage in that drama or not? So just some things to look out for. So what ways can we set and maintain healthy boundaries, right? We know the things to look for. Um, but what we want to do is start to really self-reflect. So start with some self-reflection, you know, um, find out what you need to set boundaries and how important it is for you and what will benefit. So I've been reflecting a lot over the last couple of weeks. Like my life has been like crazy. Like I'm half in like Florida. I'm half in California. I don't know if I'm like keeping my place in California, you know, or going here and my parents are in town and everything just seems like very different to this time last year. I'm a completely different person. And also like there's that shift in identity and setting those boundaries of like, okay, I don't want to do this, but I do want to say this. And last week I journaled for like the first time in forever about why was I feeling so lost? Why was I feeling like I was losing my identity? Um, and it came to a point where I was having resentment for doing things for other people that weren't helping my own business. And I started to get resentful. I started to kind of be like, angry a little bit and frustrated because here I was like spending all this time like creating stuff for other people and I was forgetting like what was important for me like what's my message like what am I supposed to be saying I feel like I've got this piece of tape across my mouth and I don't even know what I'm supposed to say anymore and I'm losing my own voice so that's been something that I've been really working on in setting those boundaries um, but I think the thing is is like is taking those small steps right one of the things that we can do to help set that is build up slowly the way that you don't get overwhelmed and you're able to figure out what needs to be tweaked so it is taking those small steps so just two weeks ago I started journaling I wanted to write down I needed to see it visually like what was happening in my head what was happening in my brain like why was I feeling this way why was I feeling resentment why was I feeling that my boundaries were just like I didn't have any boundaries why was I feeling that I was losing myself I think that's probably a reason that I'm sick right now is because I was just all of this like emotion and feeling of like being lost and unsure and overwhelmed and I don't even like that word I don't think it's overwhelmed is the word it's just like I felt lost like lost and lacking of identity because I did not have any boundaries anymore and you start to lose yourself right it that seems obvious if you've got people cutting in this way this way all of other stuff happening you, you you and you don't have those boundaries you start to lose like who you are and what makes you special what makes you unique what you stand for what you talk about like what's important to you um and so this actually feels really freeing just to like even just talk about it and then start early setting boundaries at the beginning of relationships will help everyone lessen Oh, yes, feeling of hurt, confusion, and frustration. My goodness, yes. I'm still learning this because I definitely have not done this at all. Um, and I kind of spoke about at the beginning with that first, the other relationship I was in years ago. It's like, that was a boundary that like I didn't set. I didn't say like, no, this is not okay. No, like this is not right. And so we're constantly learning because we make excuses for other people, right? We say, oh, it's okay. This was this. And I feel like maybe they made this decision because of, X, Y, and Z, and I always take 100% responsibility with zero excuses. If you do, you get control. 
right? If you don't take 100% responsibility with zero excuses, you give other people control and you start to try and control other things in life. You start to control other people. You start to control your children. You start to control, you know, how you're everything. You start to control everything. People who control everything are people that don't have control of themselves, right? They don't have control of their own emotions because why? They haven't taken 100% responsibility. You get total full control back when you take full responsibility of that. All right, another thing that we want to think about is communicate the boundaries as you need with people involved, especially if they've been constant, constantly stepping, overstepping yours, but avoid being confrontational. Communication is going to be everything, my friends. Like, if we can't sit down and have a conversation about, like, how we feel and openly share our feelings and just say, hey, like, when you speak to me like this, it makes me feel like this, and they say, well, I didn't do it like that, that's fine. But it's not fine because that is your feeling. Like you are allowed to feel exactly how you feel and do not let anybody else tell you otherwise. If you feel like a look was given to you and it was X, Y, and Z, that is your hallucination. Tony Robbins says it all the time. Like that's your hallucination. That's how I feel. I can't feel a certain way even though you expressed it in a different way, right? You're allowed to feel how you feel. And if somebody's talking to you, just say, well, I didn't mean it like that. Okay, great. Say, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry that it came across that way. That wasn't my intention. And if that's how it felt, I'm so sorry that that is how it felt to you. Because they're right. They're right in how they feel and you're right in how you feel as well. So it's really important that when you're having these open communications, you're not telling somebody that they're wrong for feeling a certain way. You're not telling them off for a certain thing that you're understanding, you're opening and you're listening as well. So always come from a place of love when you want to communicate something about boundaries. It's always going to make it way easier. We do not need to be confrontational. Um, and just, it's not an argument. And when people, a lot of people say, I just don't want to argue. This isn't an argument. This is just a conversation where we're both trying to get clarity. Get that point right there. This is not an argument. This is a conversation where both of us are trying to get clarity about something, right? That's all it is. It, an argument is basically two people communicating about how they feel. But why does it need to be called an argument, right? You're not arguing. You, you're just standing your ground on how you feel. So don't ever just think like, oh my goodness, we're arguing. It's no, it's two people having a conversation to gain clarity on how they feel. All right, and then keep things consistent and steady to avoid leading to confusion and encouraging expectations. Oh, yes. I mean, if we do it all the time, other people are going to be like, why? Well, you used to do it. Like, now, like, why is it different now, right? We start with, like, one expectation, and then we change to something else, and we move it around. And so just really understand that you get to be consistent. You get to set the boundaries. You get to accept, accept no, you get to set your expectations and you can always pull back and just say, hey, I know that I used to do all this stuff for you, but the reason that I have to pull back a little bit is I'm losing myself. You know, I feel like we could, you know, if, if you could help me with X, Y, and Z, maybe we could find somebody else that would help with this part. And then it just starts to become a really nice fluid conversation. All right. And be your biggest cheerleader. Love yourself consistently. Remind yourself that you're worthy. You know, people will treat you how you treat others. You know, people will say like, people don't remember what you said, but they remember how you made them feel. At the end of the day, like keep putting yourself first. Like it's not selfish, it's self first. Like as Pitbull says, and, and that's such a big thing. And I think that so many of us get wrapped up in other people's lives, our kids' lives, our family's lives, our friends' lives, the drama of other people's lives. And instead of just focusing on like, what is special to you? Like, what have you done today that like makes you feel amazing? Like, what have you done that like makes you feel incredible? Like, what have you done that like just like gives you so much love to your heart? You know, I put in my post the other day, I can't even remember the last time I took like a week off. Like, it's gotta be like seven, eight years it could even be longer than that. I can't remember the last time like I took off like a full week and just disconnected and didn't work. And I think that's sometimes where we get to, we lose ourselves and we forget what's important to us. So I hope that this podcast was important uh, to just highlight some of the areas where maybe we can get better, where we can like have great conversations with other people and we can just remind ourselves to focus on ourselves, to set those boundaries um, and just that come from a place of always coming from a place of love where we talk to other people about how we feel and always being understanding. Um, so I was just open and real and raw and honest and everything. Maybe it's because I'm feeling not that feeling great. Maybe like I'm like, oh, they don't even recognize me with this like croaky little voice. 
Uh, but life is too short to, you know, live somebody else's life. Keep on living yours. You know, speak from the heart. Speak what's true to you. Um, and just keep on being yourself and working on setting those boundaries. I hope this helped. If you want to send this to anybody, be a hero in someone's life today. Maybe somebody else with your friends, your family. Just post it on your social media. Send it to friends and family. There's somebody else out there right now that needs to hear this message. Um, and I know that you could be that vehicle and change today. So thank you so much for watching, for listening. I love you guys so much. Um, go and follow us on the It Takes Grip podcast for daily motivation. Share this with a friend and I'll see you on our next episode. I love you guys. Bye.